Hi there, everyone. Martin Tyler along with you today. Alan Smith alongside me. And we've got a game from the League Championship, Alan. Yeah, I'm Martin. I'm really delighted to be here. Nottingham Forest in our featured match today against Middlesbrough. Nottingham Forest, a good side they look at the moment. They won away their last game against Barnsley. Yeah, they won 2-1, but I think they were better than that. Having said that, I think they'll probably just get a draw here. Now, Nottingham Forest getting some plaudits recently. What do you think of their players? It's not always easy fulfilling expectations. I know the crowd here were fully hoping that their team could uh, vie for promotion, and that's the way it's turned out early on in this season. Just need to keep it going. And this is the way Nottingham Forest are going to go into this match. So, Alan, 4-4-2? Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. Thanks. And this is the 11 that will take the field for Middlesbrough. Well, it's 4-4-2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the full-backs to provide the width in this shape. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Here's a couple of players who you might keep a special eye out for today. Alan Smith's certainly going to do that. Both on a good run, these two forwards. Three goals in their last three games. That's the kind of standards any striker aspires to. Here we are at the start of the match. Johnny Housen. across the field to try and switch the play this could lead to a chance it's good attacking play Riley that's an excellent cross punched away by the goalkeeper it was a real opportunity but there might be a key moment in there from a defensive point of view yeah well they really did converge on him quickly he didn't miss by much but he's missed it the manager just trying to get his message across down there they weren't far off taking the lead there they're playing pretty well Riley fine play from Nottingham Forest getting really onto the front foot now what an opportunity if he picks out the right man. And they get it away. Lovely one-touch football. The shot's on! I think the opposition looked as though they believed they'd get through them, but they haven't, and now they can get on the ball and play. In comes the challenge. Downing. Fletcher. Goal news from Sheffield United. It's a goal for Barnsley. 14 minutes played, 1 0. Thanks, Alan. Riley. Attacking well here. On the cross, blocked well by the defender. Well, the ball's been deflected out, so it'll be a throw in. Riley, supporting player alongside. Downing. Alan McAnally back at Villa Park. He's got some news for us. It's a goal for Norwich City. It's been scored by Nelson Oliveira. A fierce try from the edge of the box that flew in off the bar. 19 minutes played, 1-0. They've opened them up here. It was a goal for Norwich, trying to steer it through. 
Attacking now. Becker. Riley. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there. Well, they're in a good position here. Fletcher, quick-witted and quick in this movement too to intercept there. Becker. A goal from uh, Ipswich. It's a goal for Ipswich Town. 28 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Clayton, he's got it back again from his teammate. On the attack here, this could be a chance. Gonna try one now. They've broken through here with the first goal. Might that just be the vital strike? Speed, control as well at that pace. It takes a bit of doing, but they got it absolutely right. Well, they enjoyed that and they've uh, caught the opposition unaware who had committed too many men forward. Delivered into the box. I don't think the coach will be too happy with this, trying to play in the defensive third quite as much as he's doing. Downing. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. And it's a shot now! Corner now for Middlesbrough. Cleared away, well away from goal. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Riley. Well, let's pause for a moment to let in Alan McAnally here with some goal news. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 40 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Cheers, Alan. And now he's looking for some support. Good defensive clearance there. Spotted a teammate, and he's got the technique as well as the vision to switch the play. Johnny House. Come away with the ball cleaning. Great tackle. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of any time. This is a chance from the free kick. the frame of the goal and that's half time signaled by the referee 1-0 the half time score the second half is off and underway well they're in a good position here Looking for teammates in the middle. It's a fine stop. A full stretch from the keeper to turn that aside. And this is going to be a throw. Riley. The shot's on. Great save. You can only put it behind for the corner. In goes the corner. Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. Johnny House. It's fine play from Nottingham Forest. Getting really onto the front foot now. And now a throw in. get it away Martin Braithwaite well maybe the counter-attack is on here goal news from Bristol City quite clearly a free kick
Neatly intercepted. He's trying to catch the player in possession. Attacking now. Riley. Whipped in from the wide area. Downing. Ferreira da Silva. Could be a yellow card here for that foul. This is a key moment for the manager. He knows he's got the lead, and he's now going to do his best to try and retain that. Oh, that would have looked great if it had flown in, but in the end, it didn't fly very close at all. No, he looked a bit embarrassed after that effort. Traore. And it's Fletcher. Well, it's still just speculation, Alan, isn't it? But what a big money deal it would be if it went through. Well, all the fans are excited about it, Martin, and I bet the player is as well. I bet uh, he's desperate for the move to go through. Well, they're still leading, and they've decided to go for a fresh player in the hope of hanging on to that lead. Well, maybe a loss of concentration there because he's uh, just taken it out of play. Riley. Well, that's good support play from his teammates. Gets his cross in. There's still danger here after this half clearance. Got the ball and they... it's a quick break. It looks set up for the counter attack, but in the end they didn't play it right. Of the red hatchback blocking the emergency exit. Please return to your vehicle. Johnny House. Thank you. An opponent around him. That's good screening of the football, and they've cut it out. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Just the keeper to beat. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. Johnny House. Yeah, he's cut that out well, well read. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. He's had a go here. That is one of the great saves. Had no right to stop that. Had no right to get a hand on it. What a stop. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. Corner's taken. Run right past all the defenders and the attackers. No touch from anyone. Shot on! That's a good save, he got a touch to that. Now Middlesbrough have a corner. Played into the middle, and they get it away. Braithwaite. And now the shot! Hit it hard, but not very true. It is coming to the business end of this match, isn't it? And they're still looking for that elusive goal. Yeah, the crowd trying to G up their players, trying to get behind them, trying to produce a bit better than we've seen so far. Shots on here. What a display this is from the goalkeeper. And his clean sheet still going strong. He's as brave as a lion, he's athletic, he's got... Goes for it with a fist. Well, that's been the story for this goalkeeper today. A clean sheet, and I don't think that's going to change before the end of this match. Braithwaite. They can be quick on the break now. Striding forward, purposefully. To score! They can't stop him. Going for goal! A goal! It's a terrific goal at a terrific time, and it should seal the win. Well, this is the team in form, isn't it? They are excellent, these players today, and they've got their reward here. Well, you look at all of them, they all fancy getting on the score sheet. They're all drifting forward. Nottingham Forest on the attack here, looking good. Looking to... 
we say so often we get the benefit of these replays and the assistant of course has one chance to see it did he get it right Alan oh just about I mean that is a, a great call from the official that is a free kick It's cup tie time in the English League Cup and I can sense the extra buzz amongst the supporters as we came into the stadium. Our game today is Brentford and they will play Nottingham Forest. Visitors, Nottingham Forest and more Brentford. And Brentford lineup. Number one, Daniel Bentley. Number two, Maxime Cullin. Number 14, John Really anticipating something special from him here today. Yeah, he's one of the best one, two touch players around. He really does see the picture quickly. Number 10, Josh McEachern. Number 15, Ryan Wolves. It's a real group mentality in this lineup about pressing the opposition into making mistakes and cashing in on it straight away. Well, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of motivation. It's easy to drop off. And when you do drop off that really aggressive closing down, that's when it can fall down. And this is the way Nottingham Forest are going to go into this match. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required I think so if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield Nottingham Forest really out to prove a point today not to be affected by that home defeat in their last match that loss against Middlesbrough yeah the 2-0 defeat a bit worrying it was a bit worrying with the way that they defended they'll be disappointed with it uh, determined to improve today and uh, I think this is a winnable match for them and the man in charge is Carl Boyson we're ready to go in this cup tie in the English League Cup well there's a lot of good players out there but uh, they don't always show it in this competition because nerves can get the better of you now Cole
Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Well, it's the talk of the town, Alan, isn't it? This potential big money signing. Yeah, it just seemed to have been rumbling on for quite some time. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if it does get sorted pretty soon in the next week or two. Josh McEachran. News of a goal from Bradford. It's a goal from Bradford City. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Lovely ball. Well, he has cleared the danger. And it's gone out for a throw. Armand Traore. Attacking team not happy about that offside call, but we can see it again here. Well, he is quick, this lad, and he can afford to give himself another yard. I think he's got the beating of these defenders in a race. Little piece of interplay between the two. That's good movement forward here. Real chance. Wonderful chance. Where's the post? Here's the chance. He scored. Fantastic start. Really quick off the blocks here. And they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. Well, if you keep going in to that sort of area, the ball will drop for you, and it dropped perfectly for him. I think that's a lesson to anybody uh, enduring a goal drought. Keep getting into the positions in the 18-yard, in the 6-yard box, and you will score. I'm on try all right. The reserves are in action tomorrow. If you'd like more ticket details, no time for an extra touch after the tackle. It's out of harm's way. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Well, two of them at it, really typifying the game. Josh McEachran. Colin. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Opportunity in a wider area. He's given the free kick. It's in a really threatening position too. Hit it well! Well, he has gone for goal, but you wouldn't really know it. Look at it again. Well, well away from the target. No, he won't want to see that one back later tonight. Here's a chance to move forward from midfield after that interception. Woods. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. That's a brilliant challenge. Cohen. Traore. to clip it into the middle but the defender getting in the way Woods and this is going to be a throw now to Chris Cohen Becker Alan McAnally's watching the game at Manchester United. Love, great chance. And it's in, the equaliser. Well, he might be a defender by name, but he's got an attacker's instincts, as this shows. Well, his teammates are all over him. They know he's capable of doing that. I think he does it plenty of times in training, but this one's valuable. So, away we go at one-all.
number four. Goal for Manchester United. That was Alan McAnally's message from the ground. The score is now 2-0. On the attack here. Josh McEachran. They've opened them up here. It's a defender on top of his game here, and certainly on top of the opposition then. Josh McEachran. They could pose some danger now. That is a clever pass, and he might be in here. Shots on here. And the goalkeeper read it easily. Josh McEachran. Oh, he could be in. Put into the middle. Oh, it could be on. It's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Armand Traore. Well, there's going to be three minutes added on. Becker. They've shown him the inside and he's taken that opportunity. Clark. Stopped emphatically and just as well. So here we are at half time and it's. Good action in the English League Cup in the first 45 minutes. Second half starts now. I think one or two players surprised us actually how well they played in that first half. They'll be delighted. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. I must say the defender <laughs> took a chance and got away with it. Treading it through. Needs to stay cool now. Real opening now. Turned aside there by the keeper. Bocaccia. I like the look of this attack. And it's Cole. He's through here. Got to be. And they've scored. They've taken the lead. They all count the same, but he won't ever get an easier one. No, I don't think so. That uh, he was there, right place, right time. So here we are. Nottingham Forest have the lead. Goal news from the break is definitely on. Real chance now. In with a chance. Camohelo Mococcio. Well, they're in a good position here. Free kick. Sliding in and uh, taking his part in the game into uh, uh, a dangerous territory, really. Well, he's gone to ground, and whenever that happens, you're going to get penalised. Poor challenge. easy to see that's one of the easiest handball decisions we'll get in this game yeah I think so and even the player accepts it Nottingham Forest next game Alan what about that they're playing Leeds United in their next match in the championship and I do see here's a chance good block gets his cross in Put away, but not out of... Oh, he wishes he'd made it harder for the goalkeeper, I think. They tried to keep it, but they haven't been able to do that. 
likes to come into this area. They'll want him further up front, though, as the game develops, I'm sure. The keeper might be needed again. He didn't hang on to the ball. Cleared away, well away from goal. He's coming forward with some danger. Here, it's the goalkeeper's ball. News of a penalty from Alan McInally. It's a penalty for Wigan Athletic. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Little check. Out Fox, the goalkeeper, drills it in the corner. 72 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Woods. Well, I like the look of this attack. Well, it's easy here for the keeper. Cohen. Return pass. Michael Mansion. Well, he has cleared the danger. The return ball. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. This turnover could be trying to get the ball in behind. Brilliant pass, can he finish it? It's brilliant goalkeeping, the save itself, but the timing of it at this stage of the game, he preserves his team's lead, the keeper. Yeah, I think he's just won the match for his side. That's why you try and get the very best keeper you can. He's earned all the points here. Michael Mansion. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. the goalkeeper makes the save. Here we're going to have a substitution. Seems as though it's for tactical reasons. In goes the corner. Tries to punch it away. Got his block in and the cross doesn't get into the middle. They've lost the ball and the counter-attack could be there. Now to Chris Cohen. Guided through. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. On to the attack now. Good vision. He's in here. Oh, they could have increased their advantage then. Yeah, I think that would have been game over. It should have been really from that distance. Now, this looks promising. Well read, timely defending. It's finished here. A confirmation then of their success in this cup tie today. Well, they sailed close to the wind once or twice, some good saves from the keeper, but I think they just about deserve this win.